Hi, I'm Daniel Shields, and I'm currently studying 43 languages, plus or minus a couple, depending on where you draw the line between a dialect and a language. So you may wonder why I would be attempting to do something like this. The deeper answer is that I'm fascinated with people and with culture, and I want to be able to watch movies and read books and talk to people from different places in the world. And I hope to spend as much of my life traveling as possible. I guess the guiding fantasy of this project is that I'd like to be able to go anywhere and talk to anyone. With the list of languages I've already selected, and I do have aspirations of learning more if this much goes well, I'll be able to talk to a large percentage of the world's population. I'll be able to travel to all the major regions that I'm interested in and communicate and connect with people. The other reason is that I want to explore the limitations of multilingualism. How many languages is it possible to speak? So then you may wonder, how am I approaching learning this many languages? And the answer is that I use two basic techniques. I use a tool called Glossica and a technique called parallel reading. Parallel reading is a method of using ebooks and audiobooks to learn a language from the intermediate level up. So what you're going to do is choose a text in a language you understand well, the source language, and audio of that same book in a language you're learning. This is your target language. Then you're going to read along in your source language while you listen along in the target language and try to match sentence to sentence, eventually phrase to phrase, and then word to word. The only limitation of this technique is you have to have a certain basis in the language to be able to maintain that synchronization. And this is where I used to always struggle with language learning. I would never want to start more than a couple of languages at a time because it was so hard for me to get from no knowledge in the language to this foothold that lets me start parallel reading. Well, fortunately, that problem has been solved for me by a brilliant linguist named Michael Campbell, who has designed a tool called Glossica. Now, unlike previous methods of language teaching that took an educational paradigm designed to teach other subjects and tried to shoehorn language into it, so they tried to teach language in a classroom or teach language with a traditional style textbook, Glossica was designed as an educational method for language specifically, and it shows. I really think this is an inflection point in the history of language learning and language teaching methodologies. It is, as far as I can tell, the most efficient way to learn a language. So the basic concept behind Glossica, and they're adding options and features over time, but the core method is based on a similar concept to parallel reading. You're going to have a source language and a target language. So normally for me, this means I'll be seeing a sentence in English or sometimes German or French, and then the text in the language I'm learning. And then I'll either have the option of hearing the audio in the source language and the target language, or just the target language. Now, it's really powerful to be able to pick and choose these options because it works for different situations. So if you want to study language on your commute or while you're out walking around, you can turn on audio in both languages and do it purely as an audio learning method. But if you have a computer screen in front of you, you get a lot more exposure to the target language by turning the source audio off. This is the method I generally use. I'll be seeing the sentence in both languages and hearing the audio in the language I'm learning. This is pure, concentrated exposure to comprehensible input in the target language. And the results I'm getting are extraordinary. Now, this is an experiment, and it's not clear where I'll be in a year, three years, five years. But my initial results have me extremely optimistic about where this is going. Sometimes it's surreal to realize that Glossic has only been out for a few months, and I've already gained a strong foothold in a broad variety of languages by using their system. And their system is always developing, always evolving. Glossica has a plan to add hundreds of languages as the system develops, so the odds are very good that the language you want to learn is already on their system or will be soon. So if you want to go ahead and get started trying my approach to learning languages, check out the links in the description where you can sign up to try Glossica for free and stay tuned for future videos to learn the nuances of parallel reading and get tips on how I do time management 
As you can imagine, studying this many languages, time management skills become very important. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and check out danielshields.io where you can sign up to be a member and get exclusive content and really cool extras and freebies I plan to send out to my supporters. So thank you so much and keep watching. Best of luck in everything you do.